Hello again, this is Bob with another tutorial for Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the mop brush. Now the mop is just sort of a dumb name for what people call a particle system. And that's where you shoot out a bunch of little dots in order to create sort of a firework or explosion effect. So with the mop brush, as I drag my stylus, a bunch of little particles are shot out from the point of my stylus and create this sort of a fireworks sort of effect. Now you can tweak this effect a lot by changing any of these attributes. Now there's a lot of them and some of their effects are sort of subtle so I'm not going to go over every one but I thought I would just talk about a few of them and you can play around and experiment on your own. Um, for example one of the particles, let's see, here we have the length that determines how long each particle stays on screen. So you can have a length up to 50 where the particles stay around a long time or you can go all the way back down to one or two and they just barely have shot out before they disappear again. Um, you have the shot timing so you can have a delay between each particle as it shoots out that sort of slows things down. Um, you have the spread that increases the distance that each particle is shot so it can sort of take up more of the screen or you can bring it way down so that it doesn't it stays together more like a brush. Let's see what that looks like if I use it. One thing with the mop brush is that it quickly takes up a lot of screen space so I may erase the screen a few times while running through these. Um, one of the settings is shrink that's whether or not the particles get smaller as they age. So here shrink is off and the particles are staying the same size from beginning to end. If I turn shrink on, notice you can see they're turning into smaller and smaller dots. Uh, fade works similarly. Um, with fade on, you can see the particles fade out as they get older. Let's take a look at that in the animation. Uh, twist causes the particles to spin. Let's see what else we have. Render, mix, and add. That's sort of interesting. You can, with the add setting, you can see the outlines of each individual particle. And with the render set to mix, the clouds sort of mix together and you don't see the individual outlines as much. The shape setting is pretty important. That determines what shape each individual particle has. So let me turn up the size here so you can see them. Right now this is set to circle. So each particle is a circle. Um, I can change that to box and here I'm going to erase the screen so you can see it. So here's a particle made out of boxes. We can set that to triangle. And the shape settings on these particles here where you notice they change color, these are the same settings for the same shape uh, when you have the shape brush selected. So opacity, size, aspect ratio, these are all the same settings that you can choose when you're actually just drawing with a single shape. You can also choose to draw with a stamp as the particle. One thing you can do is cho choose to have the particles turn as they draw. Let's slow that down a little bit. So just from this brief introduction, you can see how tweaking these attributes can give you a wide variety of looks for the mop brush. And just like all the other brushes, you can store these settings in presets. So here are a few different settings that I've saved. One, This one's called Dots. It's sort of a grid. Here, let me erase the layer for you. So th in this one, the particles are restricted to a grid, which gives it sort of an LED screen effect. Um, let's see. This one's called Sparkline. This is also on a grid, but the vertical grid is greater than the horizontal grid. So you end up with sort of a of a horizontal line look. Let's see what else we have. Teensy, this is a very small digital grid. Readout, that's another horizontal one. Here's one with the glow turned up quite a lot. 
This one doesn't shoot out a lot of particles, but they're sort of collected into a, kind of a comedy, comet sort of look. Um, what else? Pinball. This one has the fuzz turned up so that the squares appear very soft. So anyway, you get the idea. This is just a brief look at all the different varieties of effects that you can get when using the mop brush with Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2.